Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also modify the templates of the printed forms used by the task windows in Sage 50 or create your own. All the printed forms, including invoices, paychecks, and mailing labels, can be modified to fit your needs. To modify a printed form template, first open the Select a Report or Form window. Then click the Forms tab within the Select a Report or Form window. Then select the type of form to customize within the Form Types list. Below that, select the name of the specific form to customize from the listing that appears. Then click the Customize button in the lower right corner of the window to open the Design Editor for the selected form. The Design Editor window lets you add, remove, and change data fields, text fields, and other shapes and images within the form's printed version. Before adding new form items, however, you should examine the options in this window. Click the Options button at the top of the window to open the Form Design Options dialog box. This dialog box shows a set of checkboxes on the Display tab you can check or uncheck to turn features on or off. Clicking the Grid slash Copies tab shows options for displaying and measuring the object placement grid on screen and the number of form copies to print when you print a record using this form. After selecting the desired form options, click the OK button. The toolbar that appears at the left side of the Design Editor window contains buttons that let you insert form objects. To insert a new form object, click the Add button in this toolbar, and then select the type of object to add from the side menu of choices that appears. Next, if needed, answer any prompts that appear to insert an object of the selected type. Finally, click and drag over the area in the form where you want to insert the object if needed. To modify a form object, click the object to select it. Then click the Properties button in the toolbar of the Form Editor window. Notice that when an object within the form is selected, it displays small squares at its corners and midpoints. Depending on the type of object selected, the available properties and options will vary. Set any properties of the selected object within the tabs of the Properties dialog box that appears. Then click the OK button in the dialog box to apply the changes. To delete a form object, select the object to delete. Then click the Delete button within the toolbar at the left side of the Form Design Editor window. You can also simultaneously select multiple form objects. This is useful for moving a set of selected objects without changing their placement to each other. You can also use this feature to align and resize multiple selected form objects. To select multiple form objects, click the first object to select it. Then hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Then continue to click any other objects to select as part of the group. When finished, release the Shift key on your keyboard. To deselect a selection of objects or deselect a single selected object, click into the blank area in the form. After selecting multiple form objects, you can align the objects. To do this, click the Line Up button in the toolbar at the left side of the form design window. Then choose to which side the selected objects should align from the side menu that appears. You can also resize selected objects to make them the same height, width, or same size. To resize selected form objects, click the Resize button in the toolbar at the left side of the Form Design window. Then choose a resizing option from the side menu of choices that appears. To change the type of paper used to print the form, click the drop-down next to the Print button in the toolbar at the top of the Design Editor window. Then click the Setup command from the drop-down menu. The Page Setup dialog box that then appears shows several preset page sizes and layouts. While the form editing window can make forms look however you want, ensure that you do not place form content outside of the form's printable area. To save your changes after customizing the form, click the Save button. In the Save As dialog box that appears, enter a name for the custom form into the Form Name field. Then enter a form description into the Form Description field. Then click the Save button in the dialog box to save the custom form. Alternatively, to cancel changes to a customized form, click the Close button within the Form Design Editor window, and then click the No button when Sage50 asks if you want to save your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.